Hey everyone, Ryan and I recently called it a truce in our social media war and we promised to make ads for each other. Yeah, we sure did. Um, I've been working 24-7 mm -hmm. on an ad for Hugh's incredible coffee company, Laughing Man, yep. and he's been working hard 24-7, I imagine, on a Aviation Gin ad. Yep. So uh, let's, I'm gonna go first, let's, yeah. let's roll it. Come on. Can a cup of coffee be a superhero? Because Laughing Man beans are born with a special power. Sure, it's the best tasting coffee in the market, yeah. It awakens your senses with unbelievable flavor, but it also lifts up communities around the world in the form of housing and scholarships. And Hugh could be behind such a heroic company. <laughs> Hugh guessed it. My friend, Hugh Jackman, the loving and caring man who created Laughing Man. Make every cup count. Wow. Uh Wow, oh, man, that was really, that's really professional. It's, it's like, it cost a million dollars. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I'm not quite ready to show mine yet, but let's just cut for a second. What? Uh, no, it's not almost finished. Just We're some color correcting a little bit. for a second. No, let's just roll it. Come on, I can't wait to there. see it. Go, just, go, go, roll it, roll it. Ryan Reynolds is a complete and total f Gin's pretty great though. I'll have to try it someday. <sighs> Sorry man, I didn't think the truce was actually real. I Hey everybody, it's Charlie. So Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds having a little bit of fun with their Deadpool Wolverine rivalry. They've been doing this for a long time. They've had a war on social media, supporting each other's films, doing a lot of parody ads. I'll play one of the funnier ones in a second, but we also got confirmation from the X-Men producers at Fox what's going to be happening with a new version of Wolverine and what's going to be happening with all the X-Men characters once Kevin Feige gets them. So we got to freak out about that too. Don't worry, we'll break it all down. There's a new round of the Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave your favorite Deadpool Wolverine moment on the video. So Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds haven't had the actual opportunity to do a real Deadpool Wolverine team up movie. So they've been doing this for the past couple of years. This is probably one of the best parodies that they've done. Come right. on, man. Many actors enjoy performing their own stunts. Yes. Do you do all your own acting? If there's sex scenes, I do them. Yes. That's where the craft is. Yeah. It's key, uh, key to a good marriage. Did you guys get any notes from the studio to sew Eddie's mouth shut? Make lasers shoot from his eyes? I, you know, I didn't, but I thought it'd be a great idea. As no. a story, it totally makes sense. 100%. Always. 100%. I'm gonna open this up to a few fan questions here yeah. that I got. First one comes from uh, Brian Blenolds from <laughs> Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. Ooh, I Fantastic. love- I love Latin America. That's amazing. Brian asks, Hugh, I heard that on X-Men Wolverine, mm. you had specially designed lifts put in your shoes mm. so you would appear taller than one of your co-stars. Mm. Is this true or just a silly fact? It's, it's true. I, I did. Uh, Next question. But, but it was a story reason. That everything in that movie was about story and character. Story and advancing character. Advancing it, you know? Yeah. So you've all heard the rumors about Hugh Jackman. There was even like a crazy rumor that he was going to show up in Avengers Endgame. That is patently not true. There is no Wolverine Hugh Jackman in Avengers Endgame. But all the Wolverine news this week is actually confirmed because Lauren Shula Donner, who's been like the Fox version of Kevin Feige for all the X-Men movies, ever since the very first Brian Singer X-Men movie, was doing a big panel for Fox at the TCAs talking about other Marvel Fox related television stuff. People, of course, asked her about the Fox Disney deal and what's going to be happening with some of these characters. So she actually gave some really good answers. She's the one that confirmed what's going on with the Wolverine character. She also confirmed what's going on with a lot of the X-Men projects that are going on right now, which ones are going to get canceled and which ones Disney is probably going to continue on making. But here's her full quotes about the X-Men characters and the Wolverine character. So she starts by saying, Everything is on hold since Disney took over. Those are the movies that are in development right now, like the Gambit movie, the Doctor Doom movie, everything. She says, frankly, I took a step back after the first Deadpool movie because that was so successful. So I wasn't front and center at all for Apocalypse, talking about X-Men Apocalypse, 
the New Mutants movie or Simon Kinberg's X-Men Dark Phoenix. He took over, but these are the things that I put in place, saying that she was responsible for those movies getting greenlit and going into production. With Gambit, certainly, it's too bad that it's taking so long because I really want to see that. Obviously, everybody's curious about what's going to happen to the Gambit movie. She goes on to say, but let's see. Let's hope so. Right now, it's all in Disney's hands. We don't know what they're going to do. So she's saying, like, she's not really sure what's going to happen with the Gambit movie. It could get made, but she's saying that it's kind of unlikely. And she goes on to say, now it goes to Kevin Feige, who was my protege. He and I started on that first X-Men movie together. Kevin Feige actually started out in Hollywood as a really young person as her assistant. He got to be an assistant producer on that first Brian Singer X-Men film. He worked on a couple more projects. Then he officially went over to Marvel as they were forming what became Marvel Studios. They asked her about what's going on with Deadpool. And recently, Bob Iger did an earnings call for Disney with all the Disney investors. And thankfully, he specifically said, now this is him publicly stating this, that Disney will continue to make R-rated Deadpool films. They're not going to hobble him and make him go PG-13 or anything like that. Now, that's just the Deadpool solo films and whatever future spinoffs of the Deadpool character they do, like the X-Force movies, if they wind up making those. If he winds up in an Avengers movie, he will be more in the tone of the Avengers, which are typically PG-13 movies. So the really big Marvel crossovers, if they ever eventually happen, would be where you see PG-13 Deadpool. But as long as he's in his own movie by himself, he will be as R-rated as he's ever been. So don't worry about that. When people asked her if they are going to recast the Wolverine character, she said yes. She acknowledges it's basically time to pass the torch. Like, that's the executive level thinking right now. Like, they want to pass the torch to a new character. Hugh Jackman in real life has said that he wants to pass the torch. He's getting ready to go on tour for, like, a one-man show. So he's doing, like, a lot of musical stuff. So he'll be really busy doing that in the next year anyway. Her actual quote just reads, Yes, because Hugh, just the physicality of it all, just to bulk up, this man worked so hard to bulk up, he would get up at four in the morning to bulk up and eat protein meals every two hours because his natural state, they used to call him worm when he was a kid. So his natural state is a very skinny guy. Once you reach a certain age, the body just won't go anymore. I think he was wise to say, I'm at that point. I can't do it. Now, that doesn't mean that he can't come back as older Wolverine. So remember that old man, Logan, you never know. Future Wolverine, you never know. So that is in line with what I've said about the character before. My early predictions were is that what would happen is, is they do recast Wolverine. Then when they eventually do another big multiverse level Avengers crossover movie like Avengers Secret Wars, you bring alternate reality versions of him back or future versions. And he plays old man Logan during the movie with the young version of Wolverine that they've recast. So hopefully that clarifies what Kevin Feige's thought process is. Like, definitely new Wolverine, but definitely trying to get Hugh Jackman coming back to cameo as old man Logan eventually. Lauren Shula Donner also goes on to talk about how many Marvel movies Disney's going to release every year once they get all these extra X-Men characters. Her quote reads, The problem is you can't have too many Marvel X-Men superhero movies out there because they will cancel each other out. Each one has to be distinctive, and yet you got the Avengers movies to follow through. You've got so many distinctive story canons to follow through, and yet we want new ones. But I don't think that you can have more than four per year. Four is a lot because people are going to get sick of them, and we have to be careful. He has to be careful, talking about Kevin Feige. So what that means is, is right now, without the X-Men characters, Kevin Feige had started to release three Marvel movies per year. What will probably happen is, is eventually they'll work their way up to four and you'll have like your early movie, like February, March, like Captain Marvel is a March movie. You'll have a spring movie, which this year is Avengers Endgame. You'll have a movie during the summer, like June, July. Then they'll do their fourth movie sometime around August or November towards the end of the year. Now, keep in mind, though, that that does not include Spider-Man films. So really, you're talking like five to six films because now you have the main Tom Holland Spider-Man solo films, but you also have the Venom franchise, which will be releasing films every couple of years. And you have the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse animated films, which because they made so much money, they'll be releasing sequels every couple of years. So we'll still be getting the same number of big comic book films. It's just that more of them will be coming from Disney. And obviously, none of this includes any potential X-Men TV shows that they do on the Disney Plus streaming service, which they did say that they are developing. We did find out that we're going to get trailers for all the Disney Plus streaming shows at Star Wars Celebration in April. They're going to do a big demo of that streaming service, and they'll have probably a trailer for the Star Wars Mandalorian TV show. 
maybe they'll have teasers for those live action Avengers movies with the Avengers actors. So it'll be really cool. April is going to be a really big month because Game of Thrones season eight is premiering. We're getting Avengers Endgame. We're getting our first trailer for Star Wars Episode nine and trailers for all the really big stuff that's coming at the end of the year. So everybody start freaking out about April. It's going to be really awesome. Let me know in the comments, though. Kevin Feige waits till, say, like next year to officially recast the Wolverine character. Who do you want that new younger version of Wolverine to be? Click here for all the new different Once Upon a Deadpool post credit scenes and click here to rewatch that Avengers Endgame Super Bowl trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.